my guys it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and i do mean over the top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and that would be this gorgeous saturday afternoon it is july 22nd 2023 and i'm afraid in any minute i could have some more folks showing up at my vacation rental business so i might have to cut this rant short probably won't start it over if i do so guys i've been wrestling around with this rant for a few days <coughs> and i have heard from a fellow collapsitarian i i'm not going to use his name he is welcome uh, to comment and let everyone know who he is. I, I just don't, if, and I know he's listening to this, and I, and I don't want him to misunderstand. I'm, I, I am showing no disrespect uh, for some of the things this man is saying here. Uh, I am just, uh, I, I, I guess, having the debate which is what we're all about here. So this fellow, uh, we'll just call him C. Uh, C really wants me to interview him to get some of his views across. And as tossing that around, I have uh, decided not to interview this man, and I will you know, somewhat reluctantly, but you know, one of the reasons I stopped having interviews uh, on Collapse Chronicles is because I was sick and tired of all of the hopium. Sick and tired of it. Uh, all of these people with brains talking about how doomed we are, and then, you know, in the last five minutes of an hour-long uh, hour-long interview, they start talking about pink unicorns and all of that crap that I've, I've, I've just got no stomach for the hopium anymore. Well, that is not my problem with, with C. I assure you, my problem with C is, is the other direction that uh, compared to C, I am a hopium-filled apocalyptimist. You know, everything is relative. I was just having this kind of this rant a few days ago, and I'm still working on this, although C has filled in a lot of the blanks about that quote I shared from somebody a few days ago, talking about the panic is overrated, but the trend is real and book hermit chimed in i can't even remember what it was he was talking about and that you know and book hermit ch chimed in and i pretty much agree with book hermit that that is true with pretty much not everything but the vast majority of what we talk about here in the doomosphere at least on this channel uh the panic is overrated but the trend is very real, and, and the older you are, the more the panic is, uh, is overrated. Obviously, the younger you are, the more panicked you should uh, be. I still, at age 63, am believing, perhaps naively, that I am going to get out of here, you know, with the screen door the screen door just hitting me on my own guilty ass. But anyway, we're going to see what... And, and, and this man is no clueless moron, okay? C is no clueless moron. He is obviously devoted uh, most, if not all, of his life to uh, looking at uh, collapse of all sorts. And my guess is he has spent a lot more time researching this subject than I have. Okay, I'm going to write from the beginning, this man probably has spent more in-depth time studying this uh, subject than even I have to come up with these conclusions. 
Uh, we will find out. Uh, I just happen to not share his opinion. So anyway, uh, this is... I'm, I'm just going to do a few clips out of this long... You should see this thing that he sent me. Hi, Sam. I have summarized below... Um, why we should at least connect, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so, uh, so this, in a nutshell, is what C is forecasting after studying this subject in depth. He is forecasting, quote, complete and utter collapse within the next 6 to 12 months, then he puts in parentheses, depending on where you live and how ready you are, uh, which is an asterisk, you know, the, 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 the size of the country of Haiti. I am not going to disagree with C that there are going to be localized collapses. Haiti, uh, Yemen... Uh, probably Ukraine, uh, but it is not, a, a, the collapse of Haiti is not the, the, glo the collapse of global industrial civilization by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but I, I'm not going to argue that there are going to be a few localized collapses over the next 6 to 12 months, and there will be more and more of these dominoes falling over the next few decades. Okay, I have broken down a summary as best I can. Uh, some of my early predictions from June and September of last year are already happening globally. Uh, you know, here's another example. You know, he goes, I previously predicted the collapse of Sri Lanka. Uh, as I've also heard about from this fellow Indica, the collapse of Sri Lanka. I, you know, like most Americans, I heard a few little blips about Sri Lanka collapsing. Uh, again, the definition of what, what does collapse mean? Uh, I don't think that, you know, my view of collapse is probably not what's going on in Sri Lanka. My guess is in Sri Lanka, uh, the 90% of the population is not starving to death. My guess is you can still get internet. Uh, you can probably find some food on the grocery store shelves. There's probably airplanes and boats coming in and out of Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm not saying Sri Lanka is, uh, you know, uh, some, uh, it's, it's not Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. Maybe I shouldn't use that as an example, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Sri Lanka has a long way farther to fall uh, b before uh, it hits what I call collapse with a capital C. So some of this might just be definitions because I do not see C defining collapse. So maybe that's the problem. Um, okay, uh, I just, uh, all right, all right, let's just get to the meat of the matter before my guests arrive. Okay, finally, I say this with full confidence, backed by data, tons of personal connections and people interviews and personal experience in all corners of the world to show how multiple complex equilibria 
are collapsing one on top of another in rapid pace such that, you know, we would have to define equilibria. Multiple complex equilibria are collapsing one on top of another in rapid pace such that. Okay, and I'm just going to read a few of these bullets. He's got like, good lord, 12, 15 of these bullets. Number one, we will face an economic collapse this year that no one can even begin to understand, let alone throw solutions. We would have to create a new term for it. Okay. This is just me personally, with my level of following this, I see exactly zero evidence that we are going to face an economic collapse. I mean, if by we, you mean planet Earth. <coughs> uh, he does not use the word global, but I think it is implied that we will face a global economic collapse this year that no one can even <coughs> begin to understand. Uh, will Haiti's economy collapse? Will uh, Bangladesh's economy collapse? Will some shithole country in sub-Saharan Africa's economy collapse? This year could happen. Uh, will we have a global economic collapse this year? I see zero evidence. Number two, being a, you know, a real estate investor, and I still am uh, a little bit a real estate investor to this day, Sam Mitchell, Collapsitarian, is a real estate investor. I actually have an investment in Florida real estate. Hmm. Number two. Real estate will have no value beyond the second quarter of next year. So he's talking about the latest date that real estate will have any value is June 1st, 2024. That if you own real estate, you will have something worth nothing. I am going as hard as I can to respectfully disagree with C. There is no evidence whatsoever on any indicator that real estate will have no value beyond, beyond the second quarter of next year. Again, maybe in Haiti. Uh, are real estate values going to be going through the roof uh, in this country and on this planet? Eh. There is a big difference between th this, this exponential market appreciation and real estate having no value. I'm sorry, dude, that statement is patently absurd. Patently absurd that real estate is going to have no value. So if you think uh, you're going to sell your real estate this year before it's worth zero in less than one year, he adds to the, the next one on the list is most assets, most assets, I mean, maybe the possible exception being lithium, cobalt, nickel, and copper, most assets will gradually decline to zero over 2024, meaning uh, that by the end of uh, 2024, real estate will have zero value and most other assets will also be worth nothing at the, by the end of 2024. Again, that statement, with all due respect, dude, is patently absurd. 
that is unfounded fear mongering. Uh, perhaps you can, you, you know, as uh, plenty of people have said, you can go on the internet, you can state any, any statement you want to. I guarantee I could go onto YouTube in the internet, probably ask chat GB, whatever you call that, a uh, little robot, and there are plenty of people agreeing with C that real estate will have no value by June 1st of next year and most other assets will have zero value by the end of 2024. My guess is you can find plenty of people to agree with you on that. It's just that Sam Mitchell is not one of them. Okay? And I don't want to give the impression that I agree with that statement by bringing uh, this man uh, on the show uh, for the same reason that I would never uh, interview somebody who believes that humans are going to be extinct by whatever year it is they're saying 2026 or is it 2030 or 2050 you know, the, the, the statement that humans are going to be extinct uh, in the next three to 30 years is patently absurd. Uh, I, I, and to his credit, I don't think C is part of that uh, pack of clueless morons from the NTHE uh, movement that I want nothing to do with. Once again, I am a cheerleader of the voluntary human extinction movement, but human extinction is never going to be voluntary. It's going to be involuntary, and it's going to take a lot longer than three to 30 years to get rid of us. Okay, last year I forecast Europe to hit 50 C in some of the weather we see now most laughed. So there you go. So uh, has, Europe is damn close to uh, 50C. Uh, let's see. I like this one. Once I connected 20 plus mega events such as droughts, storms, earthquakes, solar flares, etc., etc., I realized the jet stream could, could become very something. He dropped a word, and as a result, turbulence could make flying very risky or impossible between, beyond a few more seasons. Uh... You can already start to see major flying incidents that have never happened before. You know, I've been reading articles about this uh, in the, even the mainstream uh, media. Uh, anyway, I do not believe this. Uh, all right, this year we will see the real beginning of food inflation and scarcity. Uh, the real beginning. Will we see the real beginning of food inflation and scarcity? Again, this is depending a lot on where you live. So I agree with him on that, that uh, anybody depending on Ukrainian uh, grain uh, handouts uh, you know, might start to see that. Uh, okay. Uh, I like this when new types of crime, teen crime, organized by way of apps, are now crippling law enforcement at a page no media is even keeping up with. 
Okay, the, the teenagers are arming themselves with apps. Look out, cops, you know, again, uh, the panic is overrated, the trend is real. Uh, look out for uh, teenagers armed with smartphones. All right. Social collapse of almost 75% of the population, and I'm pretty sure he means global population. So globally, a social collapse of almost 75% of the population in many countries it's well over 90%. Many new homeless professionals such as doctors, nurses, and teachers now becoming homeless or needing food bank, bank assistance. Uh, okay. All of this is causing random attacks, revenge attacks, to all-time highs. I am seeing and feeling significant collapse, significant collapse increasing at an exponential scale. Okay. Uh, I, meaning Sam Mitchell, I am not seeing and feeling significant collapse increasing at an exponential scale. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing it, uh, you know, unraveling around the edges, and it might be the beginning of the newest exponential hockey stick. Uh, I, I, I'm not ruling this out. But, uh, 75% of the global part, I think he's talking about within the next year. Uh, officially, many countries are in default at an all-time high. I honestly don't know if that's true or not. I honestly don't know if that's a true statement or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I have challenged a couple of media challenge channels to a public debate of their experts and I will do a public call-out. I dare any expert, such as economists and climate scientists, to have a public debate on my forecast and timing as long as they are comfortable sharing their data, the formula assumptions and exemptions. All right, and here we go, and I guess this is the bottom line. What I am sharing is too big to comprehend and accept, so most people, including Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, and I will say some other doomers that I have spoken to about this man, so most people just switch off. I can share personal experience. I, uh... Let's see, I can share personal experience with many influential people who have confided in me their inability to process or accept, you know, what he's saying, citing anxiety and mental health concerns. <laughs> uh... Well, brother, it sounds like the person who is anxious uh, is, is, is not Sam Mitchell. I don't know about the mental health concerns. So I don't know how old C is. If C is uh, under, certainly uh, under 40, uh, if, if, if I were under 40, 
you better believe uh, I would be having eco-anxiety and mental health concerns. You are seeing the sad reality of my forecast with record level increase in real street stories. This will get worse until it eventually collapses into full-scale civil unrest. People underestimate what they don't know and the mental strength required to survive the next stage. Right. Uh, anyway, uh, see if you would like to come on uh, and so anyway, guys, w with C's permission, so see if I have. Uh, your permission. If anybody out there wants C gives me the permission, I read about 10% of his, uh, you know, reading of the tea leaves. Uh, so with C's permission, if he tells me it's okay, and you want to read this entire thing, just email me uh, at collapsechronicles at gmail.com and as long as C says it's okay uh, I will send this along to you so uh, maybe C will get the last laugh uh, who knows maybe real estate will be worth nothing uh, in what Ten and a half months. Real estate will have no value and in what about 16 months real estate and most other assets will have a value of zero. Uh, that's really going to put the insurance business in a tizzy. Alright, I gotta wrap this up. Because any minute, uh, while my real estate still has some value, I have to get out there and uh, be a vacation rental host while I still can. When do you think that'll dog? Bye, guys.